Hello everyone, I welcome you all here. I am Deepak the Analytical. I make videos on chess tactics and puzzles related to a particular opening, which will definitely enhance your gameplay and improve your rating. So before we move further and talk about chess tactics, make sure you subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update about the tactics. So let's get started. In this video, we will talk about chess tricks and tactics that is working in Noah Gambit. So after e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6 and knight c3, knight f6, 4 knight variation is on the board. After this move, bishop c4 is a natural response from white. Black is usually going for the capture with knight takes e4 and is not sacrificing a piece here because after you capture on e4 square d5 pins the bishop and the knight hence winning a piece back so after this move before this move white is usually going for the capture on f7 square and announcing a check and when it moves then and only is going for the capture on e4 square with the knight so after this move d5 is a common response a lot of matches have been played on online. So after this move, knight g3 announcing a check is a common response from white. And at this point of time, black has already won the game if accurate move is played. So after g g8, king moves on g8, white is playing queen f3 hence threatening to give a checkmate in one on f7 square so after this move black has to be very careful so can you find the winning move for black here you can pause the video here congratulations to everyone who found it out and for others it's not queen a7 because after this move, white is playing queen b3, hence pinning the d5 pawn. And after this move, again black has to be very careful and there is only one move that saves the position for black. Can you find the winning move for black? The winning move is obviously same, it's queen d7. And all other moves are losing. I will show you one such example. If you play something like if you want to kick away the knight then obviously this is a check on d5 square with the queen and you will have to block with the bishop because king cannot go anywhere. Or if you go for the queen then it is getting checkmated you already know. So you will have to block with the bishop and after knight captures bishop it is simply a winning game for white. So after this move you may try something like bishop e6 it is also losing because after queen captures on b7 square you will have to save the rook. And after you save the rook, you are losing the knight. And when pawn is capturing the e4 knight, then you are announcing a check by capturing the bishop on e6 square. And after it goes for the capture, white is simply a piece up. Hence, it is a winning game for white. But when you play d7 it actually wins the game for black after b3 yes it is pinning this pawn but black can respond with knight d4 and after it goes to d3 square you can simply kick away the knight and when the knight moves on f3 or any other square you can simply munch the other knight and this is a simply winning game for black 
talking about the main line of the Noah Gambit. After Bishop captures on f7 square, it is Noah Gambit. And after King captures, then Knight takes e4, d5. Knight g3 is one of the common response from white. And after e4, Knight is moving on g1 square. Then h5 is really a move to a good move to consider. After d3 striking in the center, bishop g4 is a fantastic move because after this move, if white tries to play knight e2, then it is completely lost. After h4, first we make this knight to move, then knight moves on f1 square, then s3 is very strong. And after this move, g takes s3, there is a move that wins the game completely. And it's very easy. You can pause the video here. Congratulations to everyone who found it out. It's knight d4. And we are pressurizing this knight. And after this move, white should give up the queen. But if you do not give up the queen by capturing the knight, something like if you play bishop pawn captures bishop then can you find the winning move for black yes it's mate in one knight f3 and it's a checkmate a brutal checkmate is on the board talking about the third variation knight is jumping on e2 square so that when the h4 is, pu h4 is pushed, it does not come with a tamper. So after this move, queen f6 is a natural response so that the rook can join the attack. d takes e4, rook d8, e takes d5. And it is must because if you do not go for the capture, then the pawn will simply capture with the attack on the queen so knight b4 is a natural response removing the knight and also attacking the d5 pawn so after this move c4 is a move so that we strengthen the center uh, if the center is falling then white is completely lost so queen f5 is a fantastic move you are planning to play on c2 that knight is jumping on c2 with a check so king has to move and after this move still knight c2 rook b1 and there is a move that is really spectacular can you find the winning move for black congratulations to everyone who found it out and for others is knight a3 and you are attacking the rook and the pawn and you if you go for the capture then this queen can pick up the rook so after the rook is moving that knight is munching the pawn on c4 square then queen d4 is a natural response unpinning and also attacking the knight so after c5 b5 knight c3 protecting the pawn twice then bishop b4 black wants to win this knight so that in the next move it go it can go for the capture on d5 square so after this move knight takes b5 is not possible because you can pause the video and try to find the winning move for black here. Congratulations to everyone who found it out. And for others, it's queen takes d5. Queen takes d5 and after a series of exchanges, here you can see there is a mate in one. And if you try to save the checkmate, then the knight is lost. And in this manner, the game is all yours from the black side fourth variation that takes place here after this move if you do not go for the capture and play c3 
then this is also losing. Bishop is jumping on c5 square. d4 is the natural response. There is an astounding move to be found for the black. You can pause the video here. Try to find the best move for black. Congratulations to everyone who found it out. And for others, it's just knight e5. And white is falling apart. Can the knight be captured or can this bishop be captured? So let's first talk about knight. It captures the knight. Then you get f2 check. After it is moving on d2 square, you are winning the g2 pawn and this rook is lost. And also you cannot move this knight. It is still pinned and there are lots of tactics is still working here so this is obviously not an option so can you capture this bishop then knight is jumping on d3 square with the check and after it moves on d2 then again this fox the queen and the rook and hence in this manner white is falling apart and these two rooks can join the attack from the center and win the game easily. So can the threat be ignored or play something like this? Then definitely it is same because if you do not capture any of it, the knight is obviously jumping on d3 square with the check and this is all the same that I told you. So how was the video? I would like to know your comment and responses. And I will be waiting for you. Thanks a lot.